Hey YouTube, this is Tech Needs, and I'm here to review the top the top ten most useful apps I think there are for the Mac. The first app I think that everyone needs is App Cleaner, because App Cleaner basically all you need to do is grab an app you don't want no more, drag it in, and it deletes all unnecessary files that that app comes with. So that's a good one. And then another good app that I believe is amazing is Bodega. Bodega. This is basically like the app store on your iPod or your iPhone, but for Macs. It's not that great. It doesn't have that many apps, but it organizes them and it prevents you from downloading maybe like a corrupted one from the internet that from a site you don't even know. See, so you have all these different categories and different apps. Some you have to pay for, some are free. And yeah, the next app I'm going to be telling you guys about is Caffeine. Caffeine, I think, is like really useful for MacBooks mostly because how many times does your MacBook go to sleep while you're watching a movie or something? A lot, probably. And Caffeine basically, it keeps your windows running it keeps it keeps it from going to sleep or from the screen dimming. It's this symbol up here, and when you press it, when the coffee's there and it's hot, that means that your computer isn't going to fall asleep or the the screen is not going to dim. And you press it, turn it off. The next app is GetTube. Basically, it's to get videos off YouTube. But that's basically it. So you just search the video and you download. It's really simple and it's really good. Like I really like it. I use it a lot. Then the next application is Handbrake. Handbrake basically is to rip the DVDs onto your computer. Even if it's scripted or anything, it'll just put the whole DVD on your computer. Any movie, it's it's pretty good. I, I really like it. Another good downloaded app that I have is Open Office. It's basically Microsoft Office, but it's free. And it has everything Microsoft Office has. It has text document. Let's open. It's exactly the same as Microsoft Office, basically. Then it has um, it has a presentation, like slideshow presentations too, PowerPoints. And as you can see, it's basically the exact same thing as Microsoft Office. Like, there's no big difference. The next app I'm going to be talking about is RightZoom, which basically is so that, for example, you know when you have a screen open, for example, let's open Safari. When it's not full screen, when it's not full screen, it's like, it's like here. Usually when you press this button, the screen will only open maybe this much or that, or like, that much that much but with right zoom it makes it open all the way so it's full screen and the next app is screenflow which is the app I'm using right now that that I'm using right now to record my screen and to show you guys this presentation it's right here right here basically I can stop it pause it hide desktop I can do a lot of things with this and it has a editor in it too and it's I think I personally I use it a lot as you can see I'm using it right now and I love it it's like amazing then there's Sanuti which is iTunes spelled backwards and this basically is for people who have iPod on their music that they don't have their on their computer and all you have to do is insert your iPod and it'll transfer all your iPod music to the computer that simple then the next app I'm going to show you guys is Vuz or Vuze or I don't even know what it's called. I just know it's a good app. <laughs> Basically this one is to download free movies online. Right now here I'm downloading uh, the Book of Eli. But all I have to do is basically just search, search the movie. Let's say Step Brothers. And it finds it and then you... You go look for it, it's pretty fast, it's not slow at all. See, you just go and then you gotta find the right one and then you download it. I think it's pretty good. 
then the no, never mind. That's it. Oh well, for handbrake you are going to need um for handbrake you are going to need VLC, which is also great because you can download you can play WMV files on it and stuff, and it's actually really good too. So that's it. Those are the top ten apps I think are amazing for your Mac. Thank you for watching. Tech needs out.